part two. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, where we left off in the um in the last video is where I was talking about how both guys and girls are affected by this. I want to talk about this, and then I want to get into how not only are they affected, but how we are also affected. Hmm? Years ago, I was probably 14 or 15 years old, and I saw this video, basically it was um, called, you know, Porn Stars Who Have Died. Mm -hmm. And three of the biggest causes, if there was another cause, I didn't see it, but um, three of the just constant ones that I saw was um, AIDS, suicide, and overdoses. Now, in order, um, AIDS, suicide, and overdoses, let's start there at AIDS. Now, the um, star Jessica Rogers, she, well, former star, she said that, um, She said that she had got all kinds of viruses and things like that during her career. She said she, she got things like mono, like strep throat, and she ended her career having herpes. Um, and she basically... Um, not only that, but it's like there's other health factors that go into that. Like she said that she had times where, and, and I know this sort of come like doesn't tie into the disease part, but she talked about how she, um, you know, she she had to have times where she would starve herself. Excuse me, and I'm just gonna be honest. She had times where she had to starve herself for the um. For the specific kind of scenes that she was filming. And she said she would go, um, and there's people who probably know what it is that I'm talking about. But she said she would go days with probably eating just like gummies and probably like sports drinks, I think. I don't know. Sports drinks, energy drinks, I don't know. Some kind of drink. But, um, you know, there's that. Like people don't see like that kind of thing there's viruses there's there's things like that that are involved second i'm gonna talk about suicide there was a um there was one guy who basically said that he got called in to film a scene because the actor before him had some sort of um medical complication and basically said that he had to um he had to film he had to film a scene i'm not going to say basically fully what it was but um actually you know what yeah he said he had to film like a rape scene and he said that like he basically went home that night and um said he wanted to commit suicide And then the drug part, I remember one person saying, a man basically said that um, he, um, that he would go to work. And of course, for him, work was shooting the scene. And then he would get the money that he earned to go and buy, um, and he would take it and he would buy cocaine. So that was it. He would go to work, film a scene, get the money, buy cocaine. Go to work, film a scene, get the money, buy cocaine. Go to work, film a scene, get the money, buy cocaine. And a cycle just over and over and over again. And the reason why he was doing cocaine was so that he could basically feel, to just not feel just bad about about what he was doing. About him, about him filming these porn movies and things like that. 
So what if mm, it affects mm, it affects both men and women? It's not a one way street. And the kind of shame and things like that, that people that that they get. Like they walk places, people look at them funny. They're um you know just things like that. Like um I know I'm kinda going off of, on a tangent right now, but a um there was a um former star as well named um named Sasha Gray and I saw um this video a long time ago where she was um she um she was in a classroom reading children's books to children and there was such a controversy behind that just because of who she was in the past And, um, basically, they said, um, you know, Sasha Gray was filming, was, um, you know, she was reading books to children. And at one point, she also won Best Anal Star of the Year. Trying to do something and all people think about is the past. I'm not going to lie. A lot of times, it's not, it's, it's, yes, you are going to think about them, like, oh, I remember that, but, you know, I feel like a lot of times we like to condemn people over the past and things like that, and I talked about that, about how they're affected, but now let's talk about how us, we are affected. I'll even talk about myself, too. The reason... I hate porn so much. I hate how it distorts people's relationships. I hate how it makes men view women. I hate how it makes women view men. I hate how it makes women view themselves. I even hate how it makes men view themselves. And it's just like it, it, it messes up relationships, you know? Billie Eilish said that um, she basically talked about the negative side of it, too. She said that it ruined her mind. Watch the video. She basically talked about, you know, first time she had sex, she, like first few times she had sex, she said she thought that's what I'm supposed to want. The things you see in the videos. And, and and just things like that. She she got raw in that video, with with what she said, with um the things that they quoted that she said, and tell you the truth, I don't think that that's a wrong statement. And things like that. And I and it, it it messes with us. It messes how we view a lot of these things. It, it messes up how we view relationships. I know it did for me. You know, I, I with my dating relationships in the past, I just thought it I just thought that sex was just a normal part of it. I did. And I regret it. I do. I regret the many years that I spent downloading that garbage into my system. And even nights when I try to sleep and I have billions of, of memories and images and things that, that, just, that, that in the past have just straight up come back to my mind. And I hate it. And I hate how... How, how this affects people. People think that they're just, that, that is just a video. How bad could it be? 
Porn is the worst drug to ever get hooked on. It affects, it affects all involved. All involved. This is part two. I love y'all. Glory to King Jesus. I'll see you on the next one.